guys, I just decided that uh, maybe I'd do a blind playthrough of Half-Life 1. I'm going to uh, tell you something. I played Half-Life 2 first, and I have to say I hated it. I really did. I had no idea what was going on. I guess that's to be expected since I didn't play the prequel. But um, <clears throat> I really do think that it's probably like one of the ugliest, worst told stories ever, ever. So, I was, you know, talking to some of my friends, and they said, you know, Half-Life 1 is better, and the whole internet seems to agree, Half-Life 1 is so much better. So, I figured I might as well give it a shot, and just see what goes on. So, yeah, here's me playing Half-Life 1. I'm already a little bit of the way through the intro. I gotta say, the textures are pretty ugly, just like in Half-Life 2, although, I guess, what can you expect? It's an old game. Um, yeah. I don't know. Let's get started. So I'm on this tram. Oh, look, it's gay man. Oh, shit. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. What limbs? Do not attempt to open the door nice until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. Disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Open sesame! Man, this is a bit Star Warsy. Guess I like this. Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the door. automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Get over here! Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. Thank you. A very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Running late? Fuck you, your tram is slow as shit. Whatever, dog. Alright, let's do let's 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 do a cool walk. Yeah, slow walk. 
Press the damn buttons. What are you looking at? Press the damn buttons. Make sure you're headed down here as soon as you got in here as soon as you got some hazard. Okay. Yes, this all looks normal. orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Well, goddamn it! Tell me where the goddamn suit is. You know, like you should. Yes. Okay. I know. No spoon feeding. Whatever. It's still kind of lame. Come on, perhaps. Wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. What? Where the fuck is my suit? What the fuck? Is there another door here I missed? No. This is it. Uh, there's a grate there. Should I be like smashing that? Is that how all? animating a soda can falling out of a vending machine. That's just made on. it. Just have to wait until after the test. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous I ties? Oh, no, the I have to wear like a nano suit thing, so you know what? Fight me. Trash can. Oh, no, I don't want to stick down 
these doors. Hey, it's a fucking suit! Apron! Like you're in the barrel today. Hello, waiter. Now operating at sixty percent. just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, oh. in the test chamber. Access denied. Why? This is my fucking job. Let me in. What's he just doing? God damn, like me. Just kidding. I don't know. Racial problems with her. It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago. Go fuck yourself. See that? Thanks. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. no, it's an arrow in the test time. Fuck you. You win this time. I am afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Because I, I know standard. say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator really? that nothing like will go wrong. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now.
Look at this piece of shit. Yeah. Alright. There's thingies up here. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. <coughs>
It appears the containment system is completely closed. Well, that's not good. Access denied. What access denied? Lead the way. Shot. Those shots? Yeah, sure. Saved your life. Well, your death. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go get some treats before we get out. Oh my god! That must be really bad cause. Oh, hey, they punch in. Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh no, there was a reason I loved Valve. Oh my god. Okay, let's go play some. Loading. Well, oh, that got fucking shit, so I guess we're not going that way. Hmm. Now 
this mouse look? That's retarded. Well, oh, whatever. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna change my settings right now and see if I can find that thing that like let's just switch through them automatically like any normal sane first person shooter. So yeah, be right back. Okay, so apparently because Val is insistent on this horrible, horrible selection system, I'm just gonna deal with it. Another step. That's cool, dude. Alright, okay. so down this hole. Head crab. Zombie! Zombie! Zombie!
is that part of the game? Yes.
the door for real this time. Oh, oh, that was close. Alright, here we go. I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Well, as far as I know, they don't actually like you or want to save you at all. At all! Oh, come on! Okay. I was just pressing buttons. 
here because this game seems pretty fucking stupid. It's like Duke Nukem to me. I don't know. Nothing's going on that has any level of intrigue or happiness. It seems pretty just, I don't know, lame. So I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to make more in the series. Don't worry, I'll play through this whole thing. Just Right now it seems pretty stupid. So, yeah. Okay. See you next time, guys. Thank you. Subscribe, whatever. Goodbye.